The biggest uh, you know, success stories for textile to textile recycling have been either in the uh, business to business workwear industry or in the denim industry. So if you look at those two streams and kind of analyze what do they have in common, they are very easily uh, identifiable. If you have a mass of um, post-consumer textiles, you can easily see your denim and pull it out. It has a, you know, a uniform color. It's going to be indigo blue usually. Um, and it has a, usually a uniform fiber uh, composition. You can be fairly certain that it's going to be a high, high quality uh, of you know, high cotton content, maybe with 2% spandex, but usually 100% cotton. And therein lies kind of the clue, because what people don't talk about is that you need to know the fibre composition of the textiles that you're recycling, that certain technologies can process certain fibre compositions. So without knowing, you, you can't get that ball rolling. And a system for that doesn't exist yet. So what you're saying is that one of the main barriers to get these new recycling technologies going is that we have difficulty sorting the right, the fib the right kinds of fibre, right? Exactly, sorting on fibre composition, okay. yeah. At the scale that we need, with the accuracy that we need. Um, and this has been one of the main kind of driving projects of the textiles programme the past year, um, around a piece of technology um, called the fibre sort, which will hopefully be the you know, commercially scalable solution to sorting by fibre composition. So you will get an input of you know, a mixed bag of recyclable grade textiles uh, and it will be programmed for instance to detect 100% cotton, 100% polyester, 100% wool for example. As the textiles go through uh, this is detected and communicated to the machine which blows it off at different points. So you'll get those separate sorted streams which are then perfect for uh, recycling. You know, why it's really interesting is not only because it's going to, yes, provide textile recyclers with really high volume, high quality, you know, controlled feedstock, which is going to increase their yield, but also in, you know, increase the level and the quality of their output, because input equals output, um, but also for the sorters and, uh, you know, that side of things it will also revolutionize their business because at the moment the, uh, the low-grade textiles, all the textiles that aren't good enough to be resold as reuse, are deemed recyclable um, and they are, you know, they're a bleeder for the industry because either they're being sold at a pittance, absolutely nothing, to the downcycling industry or in a lot of cases the sorter is actually paying for it to be incinerated or landfilled. So the reuse is subsidizing the recyclable grade at the moment. And because we have a fast fashion industry with really low quality clothing, that uh, recyclable grade is getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the reuse is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So their business model is under serious pressure. Something like the fiber sort could add you know, a value-adding step. It could give uh, th value to this recyclable grade and bring in increased revenue for these uh, sorters who are now under a lot of pressure.